Good morning guys. The spiel is still closed, but in about an hour or so, the rooms will be flooding, the halls will be flooded. And we'll see uh, here at the Dice Tower booth, everything is ready. Uh, Tom, have you, can I ask you a question? Have right. you ever run for a game? If there's uh, something new opening up, you want to run for it, you need to have it. I ran to play a game one time. What game was it? Dominion Intrigue. Okay. Because I was loving Dominion, and this was the first expansion, and someone said, there's Dominion over there, and it just ended, so I was like, <laughs> yeah, ran right. and dove. I don't know that I ever ran to buy a game. I'm trying yeah. to think. No, I haven't. Okay. Cool. Thank you. Yes, sir. Have a great day. few minutes before the door opens that means everyone is frantically trying to get everything right So, inside the fair is in full swing. Outside, the weather is beautiful for this time of year in Germany. I know you might think differently when you're from Florida. I'm looking at you, Sam. I'm looking at you, Z. But um, it is almost noon, and that means that a lot of people will gather. People who have uh, put their games up for uh, auction or uh, to trade on Board Game Geek. Over 9,000 items will change hands and they used to do that all at the same time inside the fair. Last year it caused a security problem, they had to open yeah, up so it the... Was security problem. It was a security pro problem last really? year. Yeah, you didn't know? They had to open up the emergency doors. So uh, that happened. And so this year they do it outside. They're doing it right here at the entrance, which is good, closer to the cars. But now 9,000 games are trading hands. So how do you make sure that you are recognizable? Well, everyone is thinking of something different. So let's go and have a look. Every day I will be taking a look at a game that you probably did not hear anything about. And today I'm looking at They Who Were. In They Who Were, players receive two God cards. Uh, you separate them and every player does that. And that combines three pairs in a three-player player game. Now, I own these two gods. They are mine. Every player receives three hand cards. Some of them will let you put glory tokens on the gods. Sometimes it's your god, sometimes it has to be someone else's god. 
Uh, sometimes you have to put infamy to tokens on the gods. This is your own god. Sometimes you get to move some of the tokens. Sometimes you get to change them out. Different action cards. The fun of the game is that you want one of the combinations that you are involved in to re receive the highest amount of points. The gold tokens are worth two points and the infamy tokens are worth minus one. So in this case, this would score at the end of the game. Two, four, minus two is two points. Now, to win, you would want this to be the highest number, but you want to be the one to contribute the least. So it's a kind of a nice twist to things. A game you might not know, They Who Were, by Ludi Creations, and Todd Sanders is the designer. Day one comes to a close, and it means we only have 60 minutes to leave the room. Oh no, so many games to play, so many rooms to get out of. I am going home and unwrap all the games that I bought today. Maybe too many, but hey, it's only Spiel once a year, but it means four days. Today was the first one. I hope I see you tomorrow, day two of Spiel. My name is Dave Luza. Thanks for watching. If you have any comments or requests, put them down in the comment section and I will take a look at them. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.